Ambulance emergency, what town or suburb? Uh, it's the Ambulance State Headquarters Education Department. One of our students is having a severe asthma attack. Okay. We're not too far. Getting in nice and quick. Ambulance headquarters. Oh, wow. That's not good. Is she awake? Yes. Is she breathing? Uh, it's trying to, but it's really gasping, trying to get air, and you can hear that there's minimal air. We've had to give her adrenaline. Severe asthma. Patient is our student in Roselle. 25 year old female. Oh, goodness. Jesus. Was it Laura? I don't know. <laughs> With any patient, we want to give them the best and the highest level of care. But yeah, when it's a fellow paramedic, turn up to one of your own, it does put that level of anxiety on top of it. Hey, I'm Adam, so you don't need to speak with me. I've got the story, but we're going to get you onto this chair, OK? And I'm also going to pull this up so you feel nice and decent, OK? There we go. Fantastic. All right. Asthma is serious. It's not just a, a run and a cough that a lot of people perceive. When it's bad, it goes really bad. I've seen it, it's absolute worst. And where the patient was young and the patient died. All right, now I'm just going to expose his chest a little bit, get some dots on you. And I'm about to go a bit of adrenaline now at 12.27. It's quite a horrendous ordeal. You can't get air in. Importantly, you can't get air out. It's pretty much slow suffocation. Your end goal of asthma is cardiac arrest. We'll stop your heart. Just open up your eyes for me there. Open your eyes. So this will be the four. Yeah, cool. Keep the same old head. Hard treatment. All right. All right. Apologies for the needles going in, but welcome to the job on the other end of the side. All right. I'm just going to make this comfortable. It keeps on coming off your head. Now, we had quite a bit of adrenaline in the case, so your heart's going to be racing, but it's going to help with your airway, all right? It was very, very scary. Being in that situation where you really feel like you can't breathe and you know that it's getting worse, you'd panic. And that chest sounds a heaps better. But having somebody kneel down next to you and say, I'm from ambulance, you're going to be OK, is, it's like, Thank God you're here. When was the last time you had an event like this? Six months ago. I have had a few um, significant asthma attacks, but this was definitely by far the worst. It was very, very quick and it was petrifying. Being the patient will absolutely inform the way that I work. In a time critical situation like that, you want people who are confident in their job and know what they're doing and that's exactly what I had.